Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me today for another tutorial on making gators. Now, I have heard so many comments, you guys, and I love getting your guys' comments. And the biggest thing that I have heard since I've been on this journey making gators is, hey, Lisa, I love the gators, but what about a filter pocket? We'd like to have that, and while you're at it, what about the nose guard? So, I went ahead and worked on that for you guys, and today I'm going to show you how to make this gator, which I have on. It has got a nose piece in here, and you guys, it has got a filter pocket. So, you guys can make this and have your three plies, which is what um, CDC is really asking us for in our mass. And those of you that wear glasses, which I'm one of those, now you can put the, um, the nose piece in here also to help from fogging up. So give me a second. I'm going to join you back on my sewing table. But before we get there, you guys, thanks so much if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're stopping by. I love doing these um, tutorials and I love your guys' comments. The last couple tutorials I've done have been all because of what you guys have been asking for. So keep those comments coming. I really, really appreciate it. I've been having so much fun rediscovering my love of sewing during this whole stay at home COVID pandemic. So give me lots of ideas, you guys. I love hearing from you. and. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already and click on the little bell and YouTube will alert you each time I up upload a new video. This is actually a bonus video this week. Normally I just upload one a week, but because so many people wanted this filter um, gator mask, I put this one together and tomorrow we'll be having our normal Inspiration Friday. So give me a second. I'll get my camera angle changed and I'll meet you over at my sewing table. Okay, so let's get started on making this gator with a filter pocket and a nose guard. And so what we're going to start with is we are going to do the same dimensions that we did on the reversible gator. And so what we need to do this project is you're going to need your rotary blade cutter or a pair of scissors. You are going to need some type of measuring tool and I just picked up this new um, um, grid that is 18 inches long and I really love the bigger size grid. So I've got that. I've got some wire cutters. Um, I've got some um, wire and this is just like a floral wire and we'll do this almost at the very end of the project. Um, you could use needle nose pliers or I'm just going to use my um, tweezers here to turn the wire. Um, some type of mechanism to mark your center. Now I like to use chalk but you can definitely use, um, you know, just straight with your pins or your clips. Um, but this is really important. Um, I'm going to use my clips. Some people like using pins. And then our fabric. Now, um, you could make this two-sided. Um, you are definitely going to tell what's the inside um, and the outside on this one because of where our filter pocket is. But um, I'm just going to do them with the same material. And mainly I'm doing that is because this is the only knit fabric that I have on hand today. So... What we're going to do is I'm making a medium one. I'm going to put all the measurements down below for you. But just so you guys know, this is 19 inches long by 10 inches um, in height. Okay. I've got two pieces. Really important that you guys have two pieces. Now, I happen to have bought knit that stretches both ways. Um, so it will stretch this way and it will stretch this way. What I want you guys to make sure you do is when you cut your fabric, whatever knit you get, the long, the length needs to be the one that stretches, okay? That is what is going to stretch over your head. So really important when you go to cut out your fabric that the long side is your stretch side. Really important. I can't emphasize that enough, you guys. So the other thing is we've got a filter pocket. Now, I made this filter pocket six inches by four inches. And again, I'll put all the measurements down below for you. I'm doing it the same material. You could definitely do it a contrasting material. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to mark the center of one of our pieces. Remember, I've got two pieces. 
I'm just going to mark the center of this first piece. So all I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to fold it in half. Um, and the only reason we're doing this, or the reason why we're doing this, is we are going to center where that filter pocket's going to go. Okay? So you can do it with a pin, or you can do it with chalk, whatever works best for you guys. Um, I'm just going to do a little chalk mark there, so I'll be able to tell where that, that center piece is. It's kind of hard for you guys to be, be able to see, but I can see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if you guys want to do it via a clip, you can just grab your clip and clip right in there for the center. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we are going to place our filter pocket about an inch. About an inch below is what we're going to do. Okay. Now, clips are not going to be the easiest thing to use here. I would suggest that you guys um, do use pins to be able to do this step, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some pins in here and placement of my filter. Now the one thing you guys with knit fabric that is so nice is it's not gonna ravel, okay? So we are not gonna need to finish the top portion of our pocket at all. Um, it's really, really a nice feature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine, okay? And I am going to stitch around the filter pocket. And I know you guys, that's probably hard to see because I use the same color um, fabric and I apologize for that. But I'm going to start here. I'm going to back stitch. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go across and I'm going to go back and I'm going to back stitch, okay? And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. Anytime you're working with um, knit fabric and you're using your sewing machine, you're always going to want to use a zigzag stitch. This is also a step that you're not going to be able to use a serger for. You really do need to use your sewing machine to put this filter pocket in. So give me a second. I'll be right back and we will go on to the next step. Okay, so I am back with my filter pocket all sewn in, and I'll put that up just so you guys can see that a little bit better, okay? And I did a zigzag stitch all the way around, keeping in mind, keep that piece open. That's where your filter is gonna go in, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to sew our long ends together. Now there is a little bit different um, what we're going to do here than we've done in the other gaiters because we are gonna leave an opening um, for that filter pocket to be able to get to it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put my right sides together, really important. My pocket is right here. I've got my right sides of my fabric together and then this is where I'm gonna do my clips. And remember you guys, we've talked about this in some of the other um, gator um, tutorials, is that this knit likes to roll. So make sure, take your time when you're sewing it, okay? And make sure that you guys unroll that fabric, okay? Now, I am going to place two clips I'm gonna look down where my filter pocket is, okay? So my filter pocket is right here, okay? And I do not want to sew there, okay? So what I like to do, and I've done this before in some of my other tutorials, is I just like to put two clips. That is my key to say, Lisa, stop, okay? Don't sew past this part, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put two clips there so I will know that I just want to go up to that, that section, okay? Then I'm also going to sew this part, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just clip it. I like to clip it to keep it together when I take it over to my sewing machine. Um, I'm just walking across my room a short ways, but it can definitely get offline, okay? So now what we're gonna do is again, I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch again. Um, and it, you know, it's about a quarter inch seam is what I would say I'm using. You could serge this part. This is just a little tricky there sometimes with a serger. So I'm just gonna stick with my sewing machine today. 
So I am going to start back stitch. I'm going to zigzag. I'm going to stop back stitch. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start again, back stitch and straight forward. And then I'm going to back stitch. Okay. Remember the reason why we're back stitching is we want to make sure that our threads don't come undone. Then I'm going to go ahead and zigzag all the way down this row. Okay. So zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. I'll be right back. Okay. So I am back. I'm going to go ahead and clip some of my threads there. So I'm nice and clean and you guys can see this is the side that we had pinned, but I want to show you that other side and you can see where that pocket was sewn in. Okay. So if you guys look really closely, you can see I've got the opening right here. I've zigzagged all along here, here, and here. Okay. Now it is time to sew our sides together. Okay. So what we want to do is you, you should be able to put your arm all the way through. If you can't put your arm all the way through, you've missed a step. Okay. What I'm going to do is have my arm all the way through. I'm going to grab that seam on the other side and I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to match it up with this side. Okay. And I'm going to put a clip there and then I'm going to come around and I'm going to match up my seam on the other side. Okay. And you guys can remember in our other gator videos, we would leave our opening here to do the turning. We don't need to do this on this one because we have got our opening for the filter right here. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I am going to zigzag stitch all the way around. Now make sure this is a tube and you want to make sure you're only sewing two pieces together. Do not put it and sew all four together. You will not have a tube and it will not work. So you've got two sides. So see my arm is all the way through. I've got a tube and I'm going to zigzag all the way around and about a, four, a quarter inch seam again, making sure that you are carefully making sure you're grabbing both sections. Okay. So I'm going to hop over to my sewing machine. I am going to do a zigzag stitch starting back stitching and then zigzag stopping back stitching to, um, close off my stitches. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. I have got a zigzag stitch all the way around. Okay. So now if we go back and we've got these, this opening right from our pocket and we just want to turn it and get everything out. And then you are able to flatten out. Okay. So now what we're left with is we've got still got that opening from where we left by the filter pocket. I want you guys to see again. It's hard to see. I should have done this with a different fabric, but there's my filter pocket. Okay. So now the only thing we have left to do is we need to close off where this filter pocket, um, is at right because we left an opening there we do not want to stitch the filter pocket we want to make sure that we're able to insert a filter when we're going to be wearing this so this is also the time where we can put in our nose guard piece so i have just got a piece of wire and i'll link down below the size i can't remember the size of it that i have but i am going to cut about four inches of wire and so that's why I've got my wire cutters. Okay. And then you can use needle nose pliers, or I'm just going to use my tweezers here. And you want to make sure, maybe I'm going to use my tweezers here. You want to make sure you turn in those ends. Okay. You don't want the ends pointing out. So that is the whole reason that you've got your needle nose pliers. Okay. So I'm just turning that wire in. Okay so it's not poking out. Okay. So I'm just going to flatten that out with my tweezers a little bit. These are probably not the best thing to use. Okay. So I've got that. Now I am going to put that nose piece and I am going to just insert it here and I'm going to fold over 
And this is where it's really important, you guys, you wanna make sure your needle does not hit that nose piece, okay? So I suggest we do a lot of clipping here, okay? And we wanna make sure that that nose piece stays where we want it to, okay? So I'm gonna add a clip. Oops, got some threads hanging there. I'm gonna add a clip in there, just so I know I got the nose piece um, in my clip. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then what I would suggest here is this opening is not gonna be stretched as much as what's going around your head. So I really suggest that you use a straight stitch when you're gonna close off this portion, okay? So our nose piece is now clipped in there, right? And what we want to do, this might seem a little confusing, you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to clip in the other piece in here too, okay? So basically we're closing off that, that section, but I really wanna make sure my needle is not going to hit that wire, okay? Okay, so I've got it clipped in there. I can feel my nose piece in there, okay? I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine and I'm actually going to do a straight stitch, but I'm also going to come down this direction. So I'm kinda of, kind of do a go down, across, and up so I can capture that nose piece in there. It's also gonna close off that edge and then we are gonna be done with our project. So I'll be right back. Okay, so you guys, I got over to the sewing machine and the clips weren't working. So I wanna show you what I did before I sew it. I actually went in and I used just actual pins and I was able to feel the wire right here and trap it with my pin, okay? So I know that the wire is up here right at the end of my fabric, okay? So when I go to sew it, I know I'm not gonna hit it with my needle, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I'm gonna clip my little threads here just a little bit. Let me show you what we guys what we ended up with, you guys. So I now have whoops one more thread, Lisa. I can feel that. Okay, so I now have a gator. It's got a nose piece in it, and it has got a filter pocket. Okay, so this is what you guys asked for. I will show you what it looks like on and how great it works, but. What a great little project. Thanks so much for the great ideas, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you like this tutorial on adding a pocket filter and a nose piece to your next gator. So here's what our finished gator looks like. Thanks so much for joining me today for another DIY project making this gator with a filter pocket and a nose guard. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell and YouTube will remind you each time I upload a new video. If you have any questions, please add a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.